What's going on, y'all? It's Eladio Hernandez here. All right, uh, addressing the issue of uninitialized variable and the pro uh, programming challenges that you guys are having uh, by using my videos. Uh, there's a lot of errors in that matter, so I'm just addressing that issue. So all you got to do, if you have a, a variable that is uninitialized, you'll see the error down here somewhere if you're compiling it on Windows. Uh, so all you got to do is, is come up to this variable and it's usually the one that's up here at the very end, at the very beginning of the int main. That's pro it's usually the one that's not initialized. So all you got to do to initialize it is set it equal to a value. That's it. That's how you initialize this variable. So initialize means you set it equal to some value. It could be any number. It could be that number or whatever. You know, I usually set it equal to zero because I mean, it's, it's just set equal to zero because it's not being used. If you use a double, if I'm not mistaken, I think you have to set it equal to a double or you can just set it equal to zero. I'm not sure exactly sure how that works. Uh, just test it out and see what happens. See if you can use a regular just zero or zero dot zero. If it's a string that's uninitialized, all you got to do is set it equal to an empty string just like that. Basically, there's nothing inside the string. So and this usually occurs on a Windows computer. Because Windows, the compiler, for some reason, wants you to set the variable equal to some type of value before you run the program. I mean, when you compile the program. If I do it on Mac, I don't have to initialize it to, to any type of value. Uh, as you've seen in the programming challenges, I just compile it. There's no error on that matter. So I think it has to do, there's a difference between the Mac and the Windows. That's, that's the, uh, the confusion there with the different types of compilers that both of those machines have. So this is how you initialize those variables. If you had the, any other troubles, leave a comment below. If this is helpful, if this helped out, and it, and your program's running now, uh, just let me know down below in the uh, in the comment section. And uh, I appreciate you all. If you want to get a hold of me, you can probably get a hold of me through Facebook or Instagram. I'm on those a lot, um, mainly, mainly those. So just hit me up there if you have any questions, or you can leave a question underneath this video and I'll find it. I appreciate y'all. Bye.